when identifying patterns, such as this little J-hook slow curve pattern in the Dow, it's reinforced by the fact that the T-line is acting as support. This makes very easy assessment of trend analysis for the Jap or the candlestick investor based upon a breakout of this level probably creates another wave of this magnitude. The same evaluation can be applied to the NASDAQ. After breaking out through this resistance level with a gap up telling us there was going to be a strong uptrend, we can see the setup for a J-hook pattern on two visual bases. One, because of the hook itself, and two, notice that the dojis tell you when they've pulled back, it's been very indecisive. Now we're looking for a breakout through this level, which also would imply that wave one and wave three are going to be the same magnitude. Even though the market's not having any major movement in it right now, you can see patterns like the fry pan bottom and DDD have a big breakout at right where the uh, pattern started. Again, this is putting investor sentiment uh, to the forefront when analyzing what's usually going to happen at this level. This is usually what creates these big, strong price moves off the fry pan bottom. The same assessment can be made on KEM, another fry pan bottom with a little morning star signal right smack dab off the 50-day uh, moving average, back up above the T-line, just stronger evidence that the uh, bully sentiment was building up, ready for a breakout. Once again, with a magnitude movement of like the last move, heading into the next move. This is not rocket science. The patterns work the same way time after time with a high degree of probability that if it breaks out, you're going to have big, strong price moves. Doing two things, obviously making for very good timing for the stock investor and very good timing for an option trader where they don't have to sit waiting for the pattern to break out or when they know it's going to break out. They can see almost to the day of when to start applying their trades. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.